SoapNet presents Port Charles. Is he unraveling? I'm talking out loud to an old computer. Sinking into madness. What is it? What do you want from me? You are not going to suck me in. You got that? The computer's what? It's talking to me. Or is it real? Poor Charles. Time in a bottle. Coming up next, right here on SoapNet. Well, would you believe the computer doesn't search the registry any faster than the speed of light? Maybe you should save the sarcasm until we know that Ariana's going to live. Look, if you want to help Ariana, then work on her frame of mind. As long as she's convinced she's going to die, she's going to. I've been thinking about that. We ought to consider an antidepressant. It's a good idea. I'll talk to Eve. No, you won't. Why not? She just found a drug for a cancer patient. Didn't I don't care what she's found. She's off the case. Yeah, but if she already knows... Are you knows deaf to both of you? I don't want you mentioning Eve and Ariana in the same sentence. Do you understand that? I don't. No, not Ellie Mae. Granny. You know, Irene Ryan. Oof, they say she's really sick. Oh, come on. Nobody's sicker than Ellie Mae. I mean, did you see her clothes? Ooh, that I... accident? <laughs> <laughs> what a hit. Hi, Barb. Hey, Marcy. Mm. Mm. Talking about Miss Hick. Did you see her outfit? <laughs> <laughs> so you really live in 1973, huh, Cookie? <sighs> oh. You're the only friend she has. Mm. And now you're talking to me. Oh, 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 man. Oh, what am I doing? I'm talking out loud to an old machine. I must have drunk more than I thought. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Oh, that. Let, let go. Let go of me. What in the heck is going on here? What? What is it? What do you want from me? Are you sure he wasn't here? I've been on all day, Cupcake. Cookie. Whatever. Nobody named Frank's been in looking for nobody. Sorry. Yeah. Me too. So, you and Marcy are on the dance committee, huh? I know, I can't wait. For what? You're not going, are you? Well, why not? <laughs> because you'll never get a date. Well, didn't Neil Armstrong bring you back to the moon or something? <laughs> okay, okay, I got the message, I got it. Why is it so important for me to help Cookie? What? What's she gonna do? I'll be at the dance. You just watch. You mean standing around with the chaperone parents? <laughs> I mean with my date. Just wait and see who I walk in with. Then I'll be the one who's laughing. Ooh, give us a hand with a little bee biscuit. <laughs> Please. Cookie. Just wait. You'll see. <laughs> oh, God. Why did I say I had a date? This can't happen. Computers can't snag you and not let go. They, c they can't connect you with somebody 28 years in the past and they can't... Ah, ah, you are not going to suck me in. You got that? Not, not if I don't let you. Not if I fight back! Who are you? 
you talking to, Fry? Eve. Sorry. I was just doing research on one of my Pete's patients, but I can come back later if you want. No, don't go. Are you sure? Yeah. I, I, I'm not glad you haven't slept much, is all. You know, just because I took myself off of Ariana's case doesn't mean that you can't talk to me about it. Uh, you know, I mean, how's, how's she doing? Have you found a donor yet? Well, you did a hell of a job getting the word out. We got people lined up to be tested. <clears throat> yeah, it might not be a match. Well, how are her numbers? She's still critical, but the numbers are getting better. She should be ready for transplant soon. Ariana might be ready, and we may not be. Uh, you never know. The perfect match could just be right around the corner. Oh, I don't know what to do. This is a big step. Look, you're my best friend. If this decision is too tough for you, we will find another donor. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking on Ariana. She doesn't have much time. You're right. Because if this is getting to you... No, I'm fine. Everything's going to be just fine. The computer's what? It's talking to me, Karen. Out loud? No, it... it types. All by itself? I know. This all sounds crazy, and I wouldn't believe it myself if I hadn't connected to 1973, a little while ago. Uh, you... Uh, what? It's, it's where she lives. Who lives, Ray? Cookie! Cookie, it's the answer to the mystery, Karen. This... this computer is like some kind of time machine or something. Watch. Watch, I'll show you. Okay, Nelly, I'm here. Talk, talk to me more about Cookie. Why am I her only friend? How do you want me to help her? Oh, come on. Come on, Nelly, don't make me look like an idiot. Frank. Just, hey, hang on, just give us a minute. Us? Say something, Nellie. Type something. Come on, come on. What is going to happen to Cookie? You bastard. What? Knowing how upset I was about my mother falling off the wagon, this is what you did for fun? You went out and got drunk? Uh, Karen, I can explain. I don't need your explanation, and I don't need you. No, Karen, wait. Karen! Oh. We got all these volunteers. Not one of them is a good enough match. You know how this works. You put out word for a donor, and then you wait. We can't wait. As soon as Ariana's strong enough, we have to do this transplant. Someone will turn up. Just like that? No, not just like that. I have a feeling. You have a feeling? Good. Good, because if, if we can't find a donor, she's going to die. Hey, I know what's at stake here. You don't have to tell me what's at stake. All right, all right. There's no point in wasting energy arguing. All right? We all know what's happening here. Nothing's happening here. That's my point. Look, you're both feeling guilty. You both want her well, and not just for the obvious reasons. Don't start, Joseph. Look, you love each other. And if she gets better, you two might finally have a chance to... You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. No. Why don't you just be honest? Honest? All right, honestly, you stay out of my business. <laughs> Con Air brings home the comfort and luxury of the bath spa massage. Karen. Go away, Frank. I'm sorry. So am I. No, please. You know, you said your apology, all right? I can't hear it. And I can't just walk away and leave you like this. You already have. That is not true. Think about it, Frank. Think about how it must feel for me to come to you for advice, for, for a shoulder I needed so badly. And there you are, the man closest to me in all the world, drunk and blabbering about a talking computer and time travel? Look, I, <clears throat> I had a rough night. All right, I wasn't expecting company, especially you. I needed to let off some steam and get some sleep, and I, I guess I had a few too many beers. Well, that's all I needed to hear. No, Karen, listen to me, please. Look, you came here for a reason, to talk to me. Now, what is it? You know, it's not half as exciting as a talking computer. 
All right. I messed up. You punished me. Now talk. Whatever's going on has got you upset. Just tell me. Let me help. What happened? Karen, please. I'm a match. A match? For Ariana Thornhart. For her liver transplant. Karen, that's... that's great. That's incredible. Isn't it? Well, if it is, why am I scared to death, Frank? Can you explain that to me? With such wonderful news, why am I scared out of my mind? Hey, what am I doing? I know his number. I know it backwards. And wait till I walk in that room. With not just any stupid boy with... Uh, hello. It's me. Cookie? Um, well, I was just thinking. I mean, I should have asked before, but only I didn't think I wanted to go. Then I thought that maybe you'd like to. Uh, to the dance. Yeah, with me. Oh, you, you do. Well, have fun. Okay, I'll see it on the halls and everything. Bye. Oh, God. They were right. Even if it wasn't so late, I'd never find anybody to take me. So what did I get myself into? Please help me. My God. baby. When's your due date? Two weeks. Something's wrong. It's okay. All right, I'll get a gurney. Just breathe. Deep breath. What's your name? Summer. Oh, Summer. It's okay. It's okay. Call, deliver. Get a room. All right, that's no time. The baby's crowning. Court's coming first. Oh, be away, kid. Towels and linen. Yeah, a fetal warmer. I'm on it. Thank you. Summer, breathe with me, okay? Nice, steady breath. I can't. Yes, you can. Come on. All right. Okay, here we go. Good, good, good. Now there's no time. Here. We gotta do this right here. Come on, let's get her up there. Please take the baby. Don't lose the baby. You're not losing anything. I'll no one's losing anything. One, two, three. What's happening? Got it, got it, got it. Get her in there. All right. Come on, Joseph. Go. Breathe. All right, Summer. You're gonna be just great. The baby's just anxious to not see mom. That's all. Where the hell is Brown? It's okay, Ian, we gotta get that court taken care of. Help you, Joe. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. See if you can get some pressure off the cord there. Okay. Okay, now we're in business. Alright, here what we go. At, Joseph? Almost, just, just a little more. Alright, good, good, good. Now what we need you to do is push. Push. Please, please, I want you to. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm taking over. Alright. We just need a little push. <laughs> Come on, Summer. One more push. One more push. Just a little more. Okay. 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 He's almost there. What do you know to eat? Oh, only men cause this much trouble. Just one more push, Summer. You can do it now. You're Come on. It. You're doing it. Come on now. Here we go. Okay. We got it. Okay. It's a beautiful baby boy. But as always, Lambert. Yes, yeah, <laughs> He's beautiful. He's got a perfect little nose and two beautiful brown eyes. Can I hold him, Sam? For many happy years to come. Say hello to your baby boy. Oh, God. There we go. Conrad, I made it. With a little help from your friends. You know, the procedure's almost risk-free for the donor. But not for me, Frank. Not any procedure. I can't take painkillers. I can't even take a mild anesthesia. I'm an addict. I won't go back. That won't happen. It's too easy to give in. We've talked about this. Yeah, I, I know. The night your mom fell off the wagon. I can't get hooked again. If it means having drugs in my system, I can't be a donor. Well, 
I'm sorry, I guess I thought because you're under supervision... It's it... the same. It's all the same. I could be Ariana's only hope. And helping to save her life could help Eve and Ian get back together again. I feel so... selfish. You're not. Please. I don't even know why I'm listening to you. Uh, nothing you're going to say is going to make it better. What, 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 why? Because I had a, a few beers? Because I needed you. Because I thought you'd understand what I was going through. I, I thought you might help. Well, you won't let me. Because you're drunk. Look, yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't 100% when you needed me, but I'm here now and I'm listening. It's on your breath. Your clothes. When I look you in the eye now. What, what? When you, when you look at me, what? I feel less strong than ever. Less sure. All I see is how easy it is to lose control, and that's not the message I need to hear. Listen to me. No, Frank, Frank, oh, please Karen, don't. Karen, no, please. no, no, no. And now, boys and germs, ladies and janitors, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, where we crown this year's queen of the dance, and the name of the lucky, most popular girl in school is not Cookie. <laughs> That's right. Give her a hand, folks. It's not me. Not Cookie. A brand new life into the world, Ian. Though you wouldn't know it from the looks of you. I'm tired. Well, then go home. Go to bed. What are you praying for? <sighs> to make Ariana well again. And? And to keep Eve out of my mind. When I saw her today standing there, looking so beautiful, holding that baby in her arms, cradling a new life. I'm trying, Granny, I really am. Ariana deserves that. But hard as I try, I can't stop loving Eve. Ian. How'd you know I'd be here? Uh, I had a feeling. I'm praying for the same thing you are. That Ariana pulls through this. That we find a donor. And that she'll be well again one day. Well, then you're praying for a miracle, because I think that's what it'll take. What if I told you that I had one? That I might have one? I mean, it's not 100%. Wait, 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 a donor. You found one. Give me a name. I can't. I can't. They want to remain anonymous. For how long? I don't know. I mean, just as long as it takes for them to decide to volunteer. Don't push this, OK? Just trust me. Of course I trust you. But there's a chance, a good chance. There's a very good chance. I mean, and there's no guarantee, but I really believe that this person will really pull through for us. For us? Ariana.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Time in a bottle. On the next Port Charles. I think this whole mess is your fault, Lucy. This whole thing is your fault. Hey! Back off from Lucy. I mean it. I ain't fighting for us, Karen. So give me one more chance to make it right. In Pine Valley, it's all about Erica Kane and her world. On SoapNet, it's all about you. Coming up next is All My Children on SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you. You never know who you'll bump into on All My Children. Coming up next, followed by One Life to Live in General Hospital, SoapNet, pure soap 24-7.